U.S. officials have confirmed the death of Malcolm X's grandson, Malcolm Shabazz. Shabazz died in Mexico City Thursday after reportedly getting into a bar fight during a dispute over a bill. But the exact details of the story remain unclear. Talking Points Memo reports the 28-year-old traveled to Mexico to meet with an activist and rights group from California whose leader had been deported to Mexico by U.S. officials last month. One of the group's members claims Shabazz was beaten after others attempted to rob him. Shabazz was reportedly working on a memoir and one other book while speaking out against youth violence and attending a criminal justice college in New York. This followed a much more turbulent childhood. In 1995, Shabazz's mother was charged with plotting to kill Nation of Islam leader Louis Farrakhan, believing he was involved in Malcolm X's 1965 assassination. Later in 1997, he was sent to juvenile detention at just 12 years old, when a fire he set killed his grandmother and widow of Malcolm X, Betty Shabazz. He later told the New York Times he did it because he wanted to go back to living with his mother. He was released from juvenile detention after four years but later sent to prison in connection with an attempted robbery. In 2011, Shabazz told the Amsterdam News, one of the things I learned from my grandmother is that you can't help anybody else until you first help yourself. So for a long time, I was going through my journey, my trials, my struggles, and my effort to get myself together. I went through a purification process, and today, I feel like I am more in a position to work along with others. He also said in his blog he believed he and his family were being targeted by government officials. USA Today quoted Democratic State Senator Ruth Hassel Thompson, a close friend of Shabazz's late grandmother, who said living up to his grandfather's legacy couldn't have been easy. He was an international figure, his grandfather. That's a tremendous legacy for all of them. We think that children can adapt to everything, and sometimes we think that because we want them to. Mexico's attorney general office has said a murder investigation is underway. He is survived by two daughters and his mother. For Newsy, I'm Logan Tittle.